Batman 91, uh, James Tyron the fourth, Rafael Albuquerque, Jorge Jimenez, and Carlo Pugilain on the art. Uh, I know. And I like all of those. Yes, but all three of them in one issue is a bit bit of a yeah much, bit of a cluster. Uh, which is a shame because I actually think you know I think with the last issue, the last two issues, Batman by Tiny is starting to kind of hit its stride, and I think this issue, you know, story wise, is mostly continuing that trend for me. Yeah, yeah, and it's frustrating because I think all of the artists individually I like, and there are pages here that I think look fantastic. Oh sure, like yeah. Just as a as a collective whole entity single issue, it's a I, bit all over. I kind of like that because the, the 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 opening scene is Joker like tormenting this bartender, and he's essentially giving his version of the events that we got last issue of the four villains or. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, four villains going to the, yeah, the, the, bat, the weird house. Bat rogues. I, I was just trying to remember if it was four including Joker or four plus Joker, but that was four including no, Joker. No, four including. Yeah. And uh, the Count Catwoman was a villain. Well, yeah. But, well, I mean, at the time she the, was. In the context uh, yeah, she I was. Know, I know. I'm just, I'm just picking it apart now. Right. But he t- his version, he's like, okay, so Penguin wanted to do this, so he gave him these, these you know, methods to do it. Catwoman wanted to do this. Riddler wanted to do this. And I like... And, uh, I was worried for a second as I was reading this that he was going to just tell us, and because I, I, I liked how kind of ambiguous and mm-hmm. like evil it was, and I liked that even though Joker does technically tell us, it's still just as ambiguous because he doesn't actually explain it. He just says, you know, the designer wa- it was, it was the devil, and he was going to control everything, and the Joker simply, you know, he he, he interprets this as no, I said, I want to be the devil. And then yeah, killed them. I, I think this works because the previous plans didn't necessarily involve making them better it involved like so you know uh a penguin you know wanted to be uh, wanted to be the, the king mayor. right yeah so you know the, the phrase was you know he wanted to be the king so then we will you know basically we'll give him the money to take down all the other nations rulers and install ones who'll be loyal to him so it's it's not actually making him better it's just taking down the competition and it, it was right. the same you know Catwoman wants to be rich well let's just take you know she wanted to be the richest person well, let's just take everyone mm-hmm. else's wealth down and give some of that to you. And and the, so I think that's why the, the joke is always, say, okay, I want to be the devil. Well, yeah. the only way to do that then, clearly by the established pattern, is remove the previous devil. Exa- exactly, yeah. It's the idea that Joker was a threat to designer himself, and that's mm-hmm. why he freaked out. But I like the idea that we don't really know what was said exactly. We don't know what scared him so much. And I like that to stay a mystery. You know, the idea of like whatever Joker actually said that, you know, that made him react that harshly. Uh, I can see it being a beat later in the story. Um, maybe. And that that could be, a, you know, I could, I could see it being a towards the end of the story, kind of having that reveal. That could play well. But if, if we never know, I'm okay with that as well. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, Batman's just in Deathstroke. Harley's pissed because they take away her drone control because she's wasting too much money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know, Batman's got his bat wing or or it's not even the Batwing, is it? It's just the thing that transforms, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's he's fighting with Deathstroke. And that page by that that page of the, the, the Batwing above Deathstroke, that mm-hmm. full page spread, gorgeous. Oh, yeah, good. absolutely. All right. So which death I asked this on Twitter. I don't know if you guys <laughs> voted. Which Deathstroke costume do you prefer? Do you like it when it's more of a helmet on him? Or do you like it when it's the, the bandana like scarf tied? I vote I voted for helmet. But yeah. I'm okay with both. Well, I don't hate yeah, no, I'm okay yeah. with both. But when you think Deathstroke, do you think helmet or the tied up bandana? It's it's. I generally prefer the helmet, but I like the flapping bits, you know, at the back yeah. as well. So I'm kind of, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I I'm fine with both as well. But again, if you ask me to think picture Deathstroke, I probably picture the helmet in my head as my yeah, instinct. Me, and me too. But you know, here the 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 mask or the the bandana that's tied. It don't look bad. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. It's got that kind of ninja, th- you know, it's got like the turtles, mm-hmm. right? They all have the, the flaps yeah. on the back because of their their, yeah. their masks. So, um, but but I like here with you know they're effectively playing chess against each other, mm-hmm. him and Bruce. Uh, so so I do like like all that. Um, yeah, and the conversation with Catwoman and, and Harley. Yeah, I have I to say, yeah, too. Catwoman and Harley was actually a really delightful conversation. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, a lot of stuff with uh, her joking about what she really is. Oh, I think you're a librarian. I'm like, why librarian? I don't know. The web just says librarian. Don't ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's something that was really funny. Uh, but all yeah. of the uh, assassins got out. The designer shows up on the screen. Is like, aha, you know, yeah. Riddler's infected them all. They're, they're all doing whatever. Um, well, Batman's fighting Deathstroke. And I love this standoff where they're on the Batwing. 
And yep. Deathstroke's basically sort of calling his buff. He's like, you're not going to like throw us off this. You're not going to kill me. You're going to chance that. Yep. And Batman's like, yeah, we'll see. So they end up actually going down. In fact, probably the other yep. amazing page in this issue is that full page of them falling through the sky. Uh, yeah. I love the bit just before as well where Batman's like, you know who I am. You know how this started. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. don't don't push me on this. You know what I'll do. And uh, this actually really feels like a follow up to um, the the Deathstroke Batman relationship we had in uh, Priests. Batman, yeah, uh, right. Deathstroke. The same way. Yeah, uh, there's a full page red one detail. What he had is just the green light from the bottom. I just think it That's really gorgeous, it makes it pop. It? Makes it pop, uh, and just it's just a great way. So you got Catwood and Harley fighting and running and all the rest of it. And again, even the humor there where they're r- jumping out the building and. and uh, jumping out the window, I should say, and Cat and Harley's like, "Hey, is this one of those situations where you've got like the the the, the plane or the?" It, it the, was the the uh, super cool hover car. Yeah, and I laughed because me and you, Pete, on uh, previously not long ago, read an issue with uh, yes. Joker jumping out into a little hover car thing that involved Catwoman as well, and it was it, it really made me think of just that specific thing. Yeah, uh, and the lands. There's a bit more comedy, and Catwoman's like, "Yeah, I'm going to steal the thing first. The thing that the designer's going to steal because I gave mm-hmm. him the idea to steal it. I'm going to steal it first. So that's kind of where we leave, leave off Catwoman. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go back to the Deathstroke and Batman fight, which again just looks gorgeous. Deathstroke pops up on the screen, uh, in, in the street. Designer. Yeah, it's, sorry, sorry, the designer. Sorry, it's because of the D. Yeah. Damn it. It is. And again, uh, I, I love that bit when they, when they fall and Deathstroke's like, "Look, come on." Look, we both know you're not going to kill us, so just get your grappling gun from under your cape and save us. <laughs> no, I like that too. Uh, they send a bunch of Riddler-controlled baddies after them, and we see Riddler, who's got a new get-up with Designer. So it makes sense to me that Riddler's the one who would still want to stay with Designer because of the whole mastermind yep. approach. So we see Riddler in a very Batman Forever-esque, you know, onesie. Yeah, <laughs> very much. It, it, and it's got to beat whatever March was drawing and, recently. Oh, yeah, right. for well, sure. And he's got to have him, you know, he, Riddler wanted to be the wise one, and he wanted a labyrinth. So now they just dropped, you know, Deathstroke and Batman. Also, they've decided, designer decided that he's not going to pay Deathstroke, so he's expendable. Uh, right, so now he's going to team up in the labyrinth uh, of Riddler's making. Yeah. So, so I love how the story is unfolding. Yeah, me too. I, I think there's a lot of moving parts, and it made the first couple issues a little bit harder to get into because it felt like there was so much going on. But honestly, yep. it's, it feels that like the last couple have really started to pay it all off, where it feels like, oh no, everything's moving now. I understand like kind of the, the main gist of what's going on. It's kind of coming together in a really nice way. So, uh, weird. Uh, they are, this is the weird thing, is that almost every page looks great. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It doesn't have a flow, though. Yes. That, that's part of the problem. It, Between but, sections, yeah. Like, you know, page to page, if it's the same art, it still looks great, obviously. Now, to be fair, the one good thing is that typically when it's Batman and Deathstroke, it's the same artist as it's been for yep. Batman and Deathstroke. For same the most part. Marley and, uh, yeah, Cal- yeah it, is, it, it is very clearly split because it's the, the Joker section is one. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Harley, Harley and Catwoman, and then uh, right. Batman and Deathstroke. So, you know, like, they really split it up in a smart way. It wasn't like random pages yeah. here or there. No. So, yeah. I'll give it yeah. that. So, it mostly works overall. Uh, obviously, I would rather just have one of those artists <laughs> through the whole book, mm-hmm. but it is what it is. Uh, so, I guess uh, that's the the beauty of double shipping, is that sometimes they have to have to pump this Get stuff creative. out. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, uh, we should rate Batman 91. What are you giving it, Matt? Um, I'm going to give us uh, an 8. Connor? Uh, it's a 7.5. I'm knocking off a full point for the shifting artists being very, very distracting. I've really felt it. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm gonna go with the 8 as well. I'll give Matt on this one. Um, I like Titan's hitting his stride and it's been good stuff. Mm-hmm.